As I said, Tanasha, the beautiful Tanasha in the building, anyways. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How Rwanda are you? treating you? Rwanda is treating me amazing so far. I love first, it. Uh, first time here? First time ever. Can you imagine? You delayed. <laughs> what <did>. happened? <laughs> do, you really wanna, do you want to know what happened? <laughs> what happened? I thought my flight was yesterday. Okay. Because it read Thursday midnight, but it was actually Wednesday Three midnight. Minutes. Oh, so after midnight it becomes Thursday. Then, so yeah. I just want to apologize to everybody who came waiting for me at the airport. Yeah. I would never purposely do that. I have enough love for you guys. Yeah. Okay, the multitasking. She's a radio presenter, artist, model. What's that? I forgot it. Singer, model. Sing okay, singer, model. Okay, that, yeah. that was the artist part. Yeah. But anyways. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the artist part. My mm. bad. Sorry. So how does, does it feel to be multitasking? Multitasking is good. Um, I think it shows that you're not just in one box. You can do many different things, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's fun. I like it. Why did you quit radio? Or why did you have a pause? Let me why ask. did I have a Maybe pause? Maybe you'll say quit. Okay, because the, the show I was doing in radio, I love journalism, by the way, okay. but the show I was doing was a daily show. Mm. And if you want to be a singer, and you're on a daily show, yes. it puts you in a point where you kind of have to pick one, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's, think about it, name one presenter who's on a daily show, who's a singer, I'll wait. Trust me, the one we have is an evening, um, like he does an evening show, that's okay. Uncle Austin, which uh, the music part is not that much bigger nowadays. Okay. But like, I think you make a point of that. Right? I was trying to think about people that I know who do morning shows, then try to sing again and stuff like that. But still, there are few. There are few. Yeah. But still, what made you dive into the music scene? Because uh, we got to know you as the model. Yeah. The model, but then later on, when we got to know you, you went to the music. As the what, music. Yeah. What made you go there? So since I was a little kid, music was a big part of my household. Okay. Every weekend, my stepfather would blast music in the house. Like, that's how I would wake up, you know? Imagine, your weekend is supposed to be resting, but I'm waking up to loud music. So my mom and my stepdad had all the CDs you can think of. Beyonce, okay. Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, J-Lo, they were all okay. there. So my love for music started at a young age, but I started taking it seriously about six years ago is yeah. when I said, you know what, let me actually try and take this seriously and start recording. So, yeah. Then, was the first, the, okay, what was the first song you recorded? I the was first about to say song? Like, like, say for yeah. Yourself. Was mm. called Ex Naiva, featuring Viri, the sort of storyteller. Okay. At that time, Viri was not an artist yet. He was behind the scenes, but not the artist we know him as today. At that time... He was even here at some point. Was oh, even really? Here. Oh, nice. Remembered. Yeah, he's, he's like family. He's one of my very good friends. He's actually on my new album as well. So that was the first song I ever put out, actually, in 2016, 16. I believe. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Got to know around eight. I thought you started yeah. 18. Yeah. I was about to say 18, but yeah. since you said <laughs> And then uh, you, the modeling part, when did you start? I started modeling at a young age, actually, since Belgium. Mm. I was doing commercial modeling, then I got to sign with an agency. I didn't stay there for very long. Mm. Then I moved to Kenya and was trying to explore my options in the modeling world in Kenya. It took a while because you know how modeling is in Africa. Yeah. It's not as, as high paying as it would be out there. Oh, yeah. But hey, slowly but surely, we, we just kept on growing. And, yeah, we're still growing. Okay, mm -hmm. what's the craziest moment with your modeling career? Tell me like a story. Craziest moment? Mm -hmm. um, what was the craziest moment in my modeling career? I have not really Did had... Did you fall mm -hmm. on stage? No, I've Did never... You... <laughs> the Thank fit God. was not fitting? Thank God I've never fallen on stage. Okay. I have had a, a wardrobe malfunction. But the good thing is we've always fixed it before we get to oh, the spotlights. So thank God I've not really had a crazy moment modeling. 
I've had other crazy mm -hmm. moments, but maybe not in modeling. Yeah. Let's get back there. So okay. question B. Okay. The crazy moment about the music part. Uh -huh. now, because like the modern part is wow. that, but still I wanna now get to the music part. Craziest moment in music. Ruth, can you help me here? What's our <laughs> crazy? Okay, so okay, one of the craziest moments mm -hmm. is I think it happens all the time whereby whenever I have a shoot, okay. things will just never go fully as planned. I don't know if it's just God's plan or God trying to test my patience. Mm. And that's when you'll see me panicking. I panic a lot when things don't go as planned during shoots. I'm still learning to keep calm because panicking never helps, you know. Yeah, I get She's you. always telling me like, T, calm down, we'll find the solution. So the most recent one was when I just got on set, my outfit ripped and it ripped right in the middle. Thank God nobody saw it. She had time to stitch it. She was like, don't worry, we'll fix this, you know? So it's always things like that. Wardrobe malfunctions, mm -hmm. things not going as planned, but nothing too crazy, thank that God. Has happened. Not like yeah. maybe on stage, the microphone doesn't work. No, thank God. Or the God. club appearance doesn't go as planned. Thank God, not yet, not yet. Let me not say yet. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not hoping for anything crazy. And also being a lady and being beautiful and being on stage. Yeah. The male vibe is... Actually, I'm lying. I do remember my craziest moment. I'm not okay. lying. I just <laughs> remembered. Just I recall. just remembered. I just recalled. Do you remember? Were you with me when we went? No, you were not with me. We went for a show in Taveta last two years ago. Okay. And I had a jumpsuit that had an open back. Okay. Then. There was males. There was like more males than females, which is unusual because it's okay. always a mix. But that mm. day there was more males, and just as I was leaving, one of the males like groped me from the back. Okay. I'm trying I to pick. I was so pissed. I'm not gonna lie. I felt violated. I was really upset when that happened. Security, he like literally groped me. He did do something about it. Yeah. He pushed him away and warned him and everything. I would say that's the craziest thing okay. that's happened. Yeah. Anyways, let's talk about also uh, the life that you have had. You also can I call it dramatic? Can I call it like the stories that went in COVID and you being a baby mama and mm -hmm. um, stories like mm -hmm. uh, did that affect your career? Did it boost your career? How how do you take it? How do you how did this shape? your career right my now? My career, okay, I will most definitely say um, being in a relationship, before I got into a relationship with him, I already had my following in Kenya, I was yeah. on 100,000 followers, I already had my blue tick, I was doing the journalism and the modeling thing, but definitely when I met him, it boosted my career, I'm not going to have enough pride and be like, no, I didn't, yes it did, you know, yeah. I think we all know that, um, and not only that, but he taught me a lot about the entertainment business. He okay. really did, and, and we're still very good friends. He still advises me here and there, mm. um, still asks for, for my advice here and there. So, yeah, we've maintained a good friendship. We have a son together, beautiful son. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. we're family. Mm -hmm. Anyways, let's just take a break. We watched the song that probably you guys get to know Tanasha from. That's, uh, how, okay, how do they pronounce it? Complicationship. Complicationship. So. Have you ever been in one? Sorry, before Trust me, we I go have. off. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Because like the good thing about it is people don't interview me. I interview mm, people. That's right? the good thing about you know? about my crazy moments. Moments, okay. Yeah. But still, mm. let's take a pause. We watch Tanisha Donna's up song, and then she's coming back. Then talking about the future plans and why she's in Rwanda. That was Tanisha, but still, let me get to know that if it was her. Okay, that was her in the video, <laughs> but still, is the, was that you? Of course it Prove was. It. Okay. Oh, you're my sweet chocolate monster. So real, not contemplate on that. And baby, better write for me and show me that you're mine. There we go. That was her. <laughs> now, now you can say that was her. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, you're here mm -hmm. in Rwanda, so why are you in Kigali? I'm in Kigali for an event that's happening today at B Lounge. Yes. It's going to be lit. I hope you guys are coming. I am. You've heard yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be a lot of energy, good vibes. I just want to vibe with any, everyone. I want to connect with everyone. So I want everyone to feel free to approach me, take pictures with me. I'm not that girl who's just going to be like, mm, no pictures now. Feel okay. free to come to me. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And then next morning, I'll have a pool party. Yeah. Pool party tomorrow mm. as well. Yeah. want to see you guys so. with the bikinis and everything, you know, show up. <laughs> So, uh, apart from you being in Kigali, what do you have for us in the store? Like, what's, the, what's next? I have an album coming out. 
It's called That's this your first. Is me. Like, yeah, my that will be your first, first album. Yeah. Okay. My first album. I've been quite. I don't know if I know you. I don't know if I searched, searched enough for you, but that was the first album. Yeah, it is my first <laughs> album. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah. Um, I've been quiet for a while, almost two and a half years now. Mm. Um, I had no choice. I was in a contract that kind of stopped me from dropping music. But now I'm free. I've so you're now free. an independent artist. Yeah, I'm now an independent artist. Um, I've signed a very good distribution deal, mm. and I'm also partnering with a label. So I don't know if I would call myself independent, but I'm not under a label, but I'm partnering with them. So I have a lot of support now, very okay. good support. The music has evolved. Um, we're focusing more on music for export with the East African touch. So we really want to internationalize the sound, do what the Nigerians and the South Africans are doing. If they can do it, why can't we, you know? Yeah, I, I so, understand. Yeah. And then uh, you, you, you can like team up with people that like, have so many features. Who can we expect on the album? One or two hmm, people. Let's okay. reveal. Okay. I can reveal one or two. That's okay, yes, fine. Yeah. I have Nandi on my album from Tanzania. Yeah, from Tanzania yes. And I have Viri and Ben Sol. Oh, yeah. from Kenya. On another song. Mm. And the rest are kind of a surprise. I'm not going to give it When is it coming out? Oh, so the full album is mm. due around October this year. But the first single of the album is coming out next week. Next week. And the second single so of the album. So you're starting July on fire. Like yeah. And the second single of the mm. album, two weeks after next week. So it's going to be back to back. And then and the whole October album will be in October. It will be in October. Yeah. So, and then I asked you about the crazy stage mm -hmm. that you had, but still, what's your dream collab? Like, what is that person that you want to collaborate with? Like, two people, wow. international people, even like, okay. in, like you can dream. My dream collab will definitely be Thames and okay. Omale. Those are like my two favorite artists. So, yeah. You, Kenya, Nigeria is this side. So. I know, I know. Do you know, the reason I'm saying mm. my dream collabo, because yes, I do have Kenyan artists that I'd love to work with, but you asked for my top, top best, top, so, yeah, so no. those would be my those top best, so. yeah. <laughs> it is, that is that Tanisha Donna for you, and um, what do you like to do? Well, apart from you being busy with what we know, mm -hmm. modeling music and everything, how do you spend your free time? I spend my free time writing. I'm always trying to evolve my songs. Sound. Or? Yeah, songs. Okay. Yeah. Funny thing is, I write poems and then I kind of try to infuse that poetry into my songs. Mm -hmm. So I love writing um, when I'm home most of the time. I have a book just full of songs. And I also love traveling. That's a very deep Seems to be like those girls yeah. who love to chill at the pool with cocktail and. Soft life. <laughs> Hmm. I like soft life, but I'm a hard worker who likes soft life. Let's put it Because you've like been that. to Belgium, to, uh, Ke you have lived. I lived in Belgium, Belgium yeah. then Kenya. Yeah. So how does how do you cope up? Okay, how was the life changing for you at a young age during that time? I think for me it was not so difficult because I was born in England. I moved to Kenya when I was about seven. And when I was in Kenya, I lived there up until I was like 12. Okay. So I got to experience Kenya before I moved to Belgium. To, to Europe, yeah. Europe, yeah. So the culture shock for me was in Europe because I was coming from Africa to Europe. But yeah, it was easy for me to adapt. By the way, like whatever I read, like you know Swahili, you know English, you know French, Francais, Francais, Dutch, yeah. Dutch, mm -hmm. Italian, no. No, Spanish. Dutch, Spanish. Yeah, Spanish, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you feel like to know French when you live in Kenya, which probably you don't even have anybody to speak to? I know, right? Yeah. I have my you, best friend who I used to speak mm, with, mm. but now she moved to Angola. You should come to Rwanda and speak So now French. I'll be coming to Rwanda and speak French. Tu parles français aussi? Un petit peu. Un petit peu. Why are you revealing that? Oh, we're not meant to reveal it. Sorry. Anyways, <laughs> that's Tara Shadona. Thank you so much for coming. And Thank I shall you. be at uh, Biron Shinyamirambo tonight. And tomorrow she has a pool party she's hosting at uh, Nyarutarama. Please pull up and uh, you can go in with, for the prices and everything else. Our social media is there for that. So, anyways, you know, thank you so much for coming. Thank and, you uh, for having me. That was fun. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Like, yes, I've been playing your songs then. Now I have you. Okay. So, anyways, let's are. watch one more song coming from uh, Tanisha. The show still continues. My name is Cliffy and this is Beats and Sounds.